Greetings, hi, the war Al greets you, and welcome to another episode of Strat Talk. This time, we're going to be looking at a game from the Grand Finals of DreamHack Winter 2013 between the Ninjas in Pajamas and Fnatic. This is from the first game, which took place on Dust 2. I'm going to let the auto director here run, let it show you what it thinks is important, and then we're going to go through this round and break it down. This comes from Fnatic at three points, Ninjas in Pajamas at seven, round number 11. And keep close attention to Ninjas in Pajamas T-side strategy, because that's what we're going to look at, going to be looking at here. And uh, it's pretty much the ninjas in pajamas strategy here on Dust2. Very common strategy that they use a lot of times. It's, it's very effective. I've actually seen this strategy used by other teams in Source. Um, but it, most notably in CSGO, I see ninjas in pajamas do it. And they're setting up for it right now. You can check out on the radar in the upper left their positioning for this thing. We're going to go over this slowly. And for some reason, it shows JW sneaking up behind them. Not as important to what's going on here. And we'll just notice this is a really nice take by Ninjas in Pajamas. Exploiting the positioning of Fnatic. As well as defying their expectations. Forcing their players to look certain ways. And grabbing them frags. So alright, now Ninjas in Pajamas has position inside of Bombsite B. Only two players left on Fnatic's side. And these players are going to be forced to save. It's a win for Ninjas in Pajamas. So now let's go back and let's break this down. All right, so here we are at the start of this thing. As we can see, both teams are able to buy on this round. Fnatic is a little bit money hurt. They're forced to get a FAMAS and a MAG-7 there on JW. Now, right now, we're at the sort of a standard position for Fnatic. They have four, uh, three players at long, just in case it is going to be a long push. We see the defensive smokes going down there. Two players inside of B, just in case it's a B push. But it is not. Ninjas in pajamas dropping the bomb. Um, over here, outside of bomb site B, you just know it's going to be a B-side strategy from them. So they're setting up for it now. Um, we have JW set up in a position to frag if he flare in there, who's playing long A. They have a if a flare in's only role right now is to prevent players from pushing at long A. They're trying to take control of the map. We have players here at B, making sure they don't push B, and then we do have uh, Freiburg here, who's taking short A. Now, Fnatic's a very standard setup. They have two players inside of B, one player CT spawn to watch middle, one inside of A to watch short, and now at this point, one at long in a forward position to give advance notice if they decide to go long. So now Ninjas in Pajamas is going to spring their strategy. This is a B take, and the goal of this is to make this player right here very confused. Poor Flusha. Flusha is going to be confused here. So Fry, um, Freiburg sets up to throw this all-important smoke... It's all up to Freiburg Smoke, and we see Fee Flaren actually rotate back into B tunnels, so they're committing to this B side take. See Fee Flaren run through T spawn, and here comes the smoke from Freiburg, and as soon as he throws this thing, they are in position, and we're going to get smoke vision on this thing. Watch it go. Up on the top, lands down there, and let's pause it right here. So you see where that smoke landed, right by Flusha. Inside of CT spawn. So again, that this all this stuff is to mess up Flusha's position. And what that does is it splits the map into um, two. So with that smoke right here where Flusha is, the two that are split off is going to be Pronax and Schneider, who are the only players to hold bomb site B. We have three players here from Ninjas in Pajamas inside of Tunnels, and two of them here um, at short. Um, they're going to be doing the mid to B. But how are they going to do a mid to B from short? And that is where... Um, Freiburg comes in. He does this all the time. He's, he's, he's a professional. Don't try this at home, kids. And watch what he does. That's right. He jumps over the side into CT spawn. And look at this. He's gotten past um, Flusha here, who's actually, Flusha has a good line of vision on him. So this didn't work out exactly as they normally plan it. But he does have vision on Bronax here. He throws one round down there, takes him down to eight health. Kills him and then dies. But what is supposed to happen here, it's actually very smart by Fnatic to set up this way and put Flusha back there to watch short A. What is supposed to happen is that smoke blocks off the players inside of A. The player jumps down into CT spawn, that's going to be Freiburg, and he picks the player who's playing CT spawn, which is supposed to be Flusha. But as we see, Fnatic already rotated um, over here to A side. Now, so we can see how a team can sort of deal with this strategy. I'm not sure if they had um, previous intel that it was going on. All right, so now Schneider's rotating out of B. 
because it looked like they were going short. At this point, they should say, oh, the player jumped CT spawn, they're doing a B take and should turn around. I don't think that Fnatic does. So we have three players here, Forrest, Fiflaren, and Get Right, gonna be able to effortlessly take B. Um, JW tries to sneak up behind, exists. Does not work out for him, so now we have exist in the in the position sort of like the get right position to take out rotators that's his job and we have three players inside of the site they're smoking off the cross so that they can get in there and plant that bomb so they're going to be at this point the flare and runs over plants the bomb we do have all terrorists inside of bomb site b only two counter terrorists left and they're forced to fall back and save because they're not going to be able to retake this. That is a brilliant strategy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl and I still have no closer.